kickoff to UT's football season is just one month away, and the Vols will now have some big help on the offense. I mean big. Tennessee offensive lineman Trey Smith has been cleared to return to football. More importantly than him playing football is his health and his life. According to a report by ESPN's Chris Lowe, the former freshman All-American was diagnosed with blood clots in his lungs back in February. He's been on blood thinners, and now there is no sign of clots in his lungs. The report says he's been cleared for non-contact drills, and when he's off the medication, should be good to go full force sometime next month. And if you are ready for the season, it's almost time to pull out the orange if you ever even put it away. WBIR 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson is here. She's getting pumped up for the first game. Good morning, Leslie. Hey, good morning, Abby and Russell. You're right. Why not wear this year round? And Russell's giving me a hard time earlier, but I, I agree. I, I don't know what the Vol team does when their contacts are running out because this doesn't fit over my glasses very well, right? Can you believe we're a month away? On September 1st, the Volunteers will take on the Mountaineers in Charlotte. Kickoff is set for 3.30. Now, no one's going to get that home field advantage because the game's actually going to be played in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Bank of America Stadium. This is going to be the first time that UT and West Virginia have ever gone head to head, and we know all eyes will be on Tennessee, as always. This is going to be our first look at how the Jeremy Pruitt era will begin. Now, you know what gets me really hyped? This. Well, maybe that'll come up in a second. I like singing Rocky Top, <laughs> and we know the balls have not spent the summer slacking. We've seen them working on their strength and conditioning in the offseason, and then on Friday, things are really going to ramp up when the balls report to fall camp. And they've been releasing a lot of hype videos as well. You want to check out the Tennessee Sports Twitter. Those get me so pumped watching those ahead of the season. You can also get yourself in the mood for fall football. UT is hosting Fan Day this Sunday, August 5th. They're inviting you to meet the team, watch a practice inside Neyland Stadium. Now, you will have to get a wristband. Those are going to be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis until supplies last. The gates will open at 1.30 p.m. Practice starts at 2.30. And if you stick around, you might snag some autographs from some of your favorite players. Admission and parking is free, but remember the clear bag policy will be in effect. I'll send it back to you all. Anchoring with the helmet on. I like your style, baby. Is that right? Well, for all the latest balls, sorry, hopefully you won't be doing that. All the latest fall news leading up to the season. Check out the sports page at WBIR.com. Why? You don't think I can rock a helmet? I, no, I No, you don't think I can rock a helmet. Well, maybe not during a newscast. <laughs> Coming up on this show, we get